What is going on? I'm Zedmont. Forgot to mention this earlier, but I'm gone all of next week. Going camping for a week. Gonna be offline, so throw Zedmont in that shop. I will try to upload from camping. We will have power, and I could have LTE internet, I suppose, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Do throw some camping-related emoji into the comments down below. I guess tent is the only one, I think. Anyways, uh, here is my log. It is looking pretty darn good. Uh, draw against Mongo. That is the best possible outcome. That is one of the join at own risk players. That is the perfect scenario against someone that you know pulling out the draw. I went and commented on Cap'n Chewy's YouTube channel. Had never heard of it before, but go check him out just because you can't hurt to go check out another boom tuber. Uh, King, just kicking some butt. Now, I've heard from quite a few of you, and the whole theme of this is should you go to four engine rooms if you're at three? The answer is yes. If you're getting those like three minute, 19 second draws with heavy rushes, you can heavy rush at four engine rooms and get into gold. That is the easiest way to get to gold right now, but you gotta do it quick. Because the sooner you do it, the fewer people are going to have that building health, the fewer people are going to have boom cannons. So do get into gold at the four engine room level. Make that jump. You will not regret it. So this tech tree, I have not shown you all season. This has been my secret tech tree, sort of. Um, I went flares on day one. Um, also went and got, um, I guess it's just flares, and then I just hung around and hung around and got boom cannons and then went into four engine rooms and got into gold. This was my last account to get to gold because I was trying to get there in three engine rooms, but four engine rooms, way, way easier. As soon as I got bullet, I had like seven straight wins, I think, and my times aren't super awesome, but they're fast enough that I'm putting the pressure on my opponents. So 233... 239 like we're not talking about fast times here so uh, i'm going to show you i obviously i wish those ones where i fizzled now this is the trick here you might have seen in my other video get bullet out there let bullet start and then as soon as that flare you see that flare as soon as that flare expires drop all of your heavies i was a little bit early but we got to farm some gunboat energy and then as a result couple extra gunboat energies that we have at least six extra gunboat energy throw in those shocks and then just flaring 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 generally trying to do straight lines trying just to do building flares but where required doing ground flares as well so i don't think any of this stuff is super revolutionary mind-blowing but trying now you see this trying to get bullet into the blind spot of that machine gun not really possible but was worth a shot as soon as that flare expires, again, drop all those heavies, farm a little tiny, tiny bit of gunboat energy, and then get on going. Now, using taunt uh, was working for me, but, and then you see this? Look at that, going on the diagonal. Don't always have to go straight engine room, trying to mix it up, trying to avoid as many mines and flamethrowers and things as we can, kicking some butt as a result. So, I mean, I kind of, th I hope these things are all self-explanatory. I assume you guys know all these things, see all these things, but even I, the greatest player in the history of players, watch a replay and go, oh crap, why didn't I think of that? So, double split, trying to get the heavy split up, wasn't the best idea there. And then trying to avoid a couple of those boom mines, getting onto that engine room. I feel like I'm kind of, ex like, you know that, I don't know if you guys know the subreddit called ELI5, basically explain it like I'm five. That's what we're doing right here, trying to explain it in the simplest of simple terms. Now, Mongo, I'm going to show you his replay, or actually his or her or their replay, um, pronouns, what, get me, this is me getting a little bit of extra gunboat energy, flaring on those engine rooms. Now, this was a little bit tough because that's sky shield, but we can get that flare in as tight as we want tighter than a anyways moving on getting that engine room down just because we got that flare nice and tight not the ideal sky shield position i don't think mongo but we'll show you their replay and this has me a little bit excited they're using heavies with bombardiers and that to me is a great progression i don't want to use rifles this season on this account and the fact that we can use heavies with bombardiers is fantastic that nice delayed drops that go around the corner to the right into there and then the mines boom mines eating him up him them 
damn pronouns. Anyways, and then this is what I'm really, really missing on my other account. Just the ability to flare engine rooms would be so, so, so nice. Not sure if rifles would make that faster or slower, but anyways, we're going to keep going. 239. Times don't have to be super quick. They were a lot quicker earlier on, but as more and more people get that building health. Now, quick note here. Look how many mines and boom mines and defenses they have covering this front engine room. So just ignore it and go around the corner, skipping that front one. And look how many defenses cover it from the back. Basically none. So we are going to hit it hard from the back. Just absolutely crushing it from the back. And 239. That's my fastest time on these replays. So not always going one, two three four in some instances we went one two three four a little bit different or one two three four don't have to go just standard counterclockwise can mix it up a little bit and then finally against cap and chewy this base is very very anti heavy you can see they got like those straight lines but again, bullet coming in and then just farming some gunboat energy, not letting the heavies get in the exact same line, and then avoiding a bunch of the mines, cruising on in, easy shocks. A lot of those mines are too close together, so um, managed to, and we, we're going through all of those mines. I had tons of gunboat energy left. I think I had like 48 gunboat energy at the back, which is a little bit unusual, but um, yeah, that base was different, but still kind of the same. I'll show you a couple live attacks just to see if I can't jinx myself by screwing it up. I'm not positive I can get to 17 on this account at the moment, and this account is engine room locked, so we're going to have a little bit of a problem here. I don't think I see anything, any other way of doing this other than the exact order I was just talking about, but we can switch things up a little bit. We're going to go like this, and this is what I was saying, using ground flares, not the worst thing in the world. I really, really like ground flares with heavies. I don't get to use them as much as I would probably like to, but as soon as that machine gun goes down, we are going to flare right into there, trying to avoid at least one or two mines, and then as soon as we get past some of those mines, getting onto the engine room. I mean, hey, we managed to avoid six mines, and then as soon as that engine room gets sort of close, we're throwing that flare out. Oh, did I not throw a flare? Oh, no. Oh, no. And then as soon as we get somewhere close in there, this is a problem, my friends. I thought a thousand percent that I threw a flare, but I've also been getting the trailer ready to go. So maybe I have some grease on my hands. Not entirely sure what the heck happened there. Look at this shock right here. Getting both of the flamethrowers any time I can do a shock like that makes me quite quite happy we are going to be quick or we're going to fail getting that next flare out we've got tons of gunboat energy look at that look at this we've got four 19 left bullet fairly healthy we are going to throw that right there i think we were talking a little bit then i'm just going to get that energy drink trying to get that final engine room down 241 quick but I don't know. We don't know when my opponent started. I was jibber-jabber in there for quite a bit, hoping that we can keep on moving up against Squiggles, short name, McGee. 241, nine-second win. Beautiful, beautiful. You know what? Maybe we can go to 17 together. That would take a five-game win streak, which, with heavies, it's tough to streak. I find that I make little tiny mistakes. Now, that is a useless sky shield, my friends. Like, look at how much is sticking out. That is your entire leg sticking out of the bottom of the blankets. You are doomed, my friend. Let's get all of these heavies in here. Again, we're going to farm some gunboat energy. Bullet's going to get out front. He's going to take, hopefully, the flame shot thrower shot to the face. Then we can... I kind of want... No. I kind of want to take a couple. I feel like the fact this player's got a sky shield means that they're thinking more about a different set of troops than what we've got so we're just gonna flare into there and I kind of wish we would have taken that left hand flamethrower but this is the trick here the trick is to throw that flare at the absolute perfect timing this time we actually threw a flare which is a nice little bonus again shocking three flamethrowers one shock absolutely beautiful 
two girls, one cup, has nothing on three flamethrowers, one shock. Is that considered G-rated? I guess it could be. Um, shocking, again, getting that flared out at decent timing. Not perfect, but we're going to throw a med kit on. And then that final sky shield. Like, what are you thinking, my friend? What are you thinking indeed? So now that that's going... Well, oh, missed! I, you know, I talked trash about their sky shield placement, and then I misclicked when I was trying to throw my flares. I got lots of cannons back here, lots of boom cannons. But you know what? We've got two full energy drinks for bullet. I do believe that's going to be 24 gunboat energy. Getting him rocking and rolling, getting all sorts of damage done. Let's do one more. I don't think we're too too worried, but you know what? Let's throw a med kit just in case. Two. 23 probably could have been 227 if we were quick a couple of little mistakes there like my missed flare boom shakalaka down goes a two arabic name i do believe let's see yeah they're coming in with riflemen and bombardiers and like mongo said all of these mines are just actually you know what i kind of want to move those mines a little bit right they're not totally useful for us at the moment but this base standing on its head a um, couple little details wanted to point out this uh, boom cannon used to be back where that flamethrower was moving it over to the far right hand wall helps you pick off those troops as they come around the corner by the p3 also um I think this boom cannon was back where that mortar was, and putting it up front helps pick off the troops that are somewhere in this neighborhood. I'm going to move this mine over to there. Also going to move this mine over to there, trying to pick off some troops as they come through. We're going to try to heavy rush our way to 17. I don't know. We're almost there. This is going to be my last attack regardless, because if I lose, then I'd have to do two more to get to 17, and I am probably getting the stink eye in the back of the head because I should be packing. The fridge is already lit. We're good to go. Had to do some epoxy work on the cover of our... I have a, do we have a tent trailer, pop-up trailer, whatever the heck you want to call those things? Um, every time I whip it out, it's a problem. So um, nonetheless, we're going to go like this now. I like to throw the flare first, then bullet. I know that seems a little bit ridiculous, but that way the flare is going to expire a little bit earlier. I wish you could kind of like a fuse, you could like cut the fuse and cut that flare off somehow, some way, but we don't live in that world. So I am going to go something like this, get those first couple boats, and now all of those boats are going to go attack those mortars. Now, because Bullet's all by his lonesome, need to keep a little bit of a close eye on his health. This is our boss battle. Bullet is doing oak. His health is so, so high at the moment. Not entirely sure why it's staying so high, but we are going to get all of this gun. Look how much gunboat energy we're getting right now. Like, ridiculous, ridiculous amounts. That is like 1, 2, 3, 4, at least... 24 to at least 12 gunboat energy. I was going to say 24, but math, not my strong suit at the moment. We are going to be able... Now, this is exactly what I was talking about with those ground flares. This is the exact scenario where a ground flare is magical on the warships. So I have no idea where Bullet is. I'm going to hit that energy drink simply because I don't want to have to deal with his health. Oh, no. So the worst thing you can do in those scenarios is shock bullet. I have done it a couple times, and it absolutely sucks when you shock your own bullet. Um, we are going to get this flare ready right here. And then as soon as we're ready to throw that flare, we're gonna, I'm not going to try and shock that last flamethrower out of fear of shocking bullet. But we've already used an energy drink, so I'm going to let Bullet take some shots to the dome. This is going to be my slowest time. We farmed way, way, way too much gunboat energy there. But I think, I think, I think that we're going to let Bullet take this puppy down on his own. Going to let him get a little bit lower, and then we're going to hit that drink. Just trying to get him some damage, and down goes some player. Not a fast time. I'm hoping that we dilly dally at the beginning or that they're about to fizzle. Come on, fizzle. Come on, squiggles. Two names. Lots of two-letter names today. They're still in 16. Ah, look at that. Win streak into 17 with the heavy rush. So if you need any more evidence saying 
get out of three engine rooms, come to four engine rooms. That should do it for you right there. I mean, that was like a red letter day. One, two, three, four, five win streak into rank 17. Not even my goal when I started this video, but I will definitely take it. Now, this account is engine room locked. I really, really like Supercell. Come on right here. Look at this. You see this Admiral's key. Oh, oh we're going to have to cut that out. Regardless, Admiral's key, Supercell. Come on, put that, put a special on that. You have specials on instant training. You have specials on, in, on extra builder. Admiral's key, 99 cents. Do it, do it do it come on like whatever that dude's name is said someone's gonna tell me in the comments the guy from um transformers who keeps saying no 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 anyways you get the basic idea go supercell i would buy that admiral's key if it was like 99 cents i'm not spending four bucks on it though i'm gonna try to get the diamond on this account probably means going through shock launchers um, also, I'm thinking of going through Rocket Choppas just to do something different, but I, I really don't know. The Rocket Choppas are four keys more, so it's not really a savings. Anyways, do consider subscribing for details on that. Otherwise, I will try to talk to you next week. If I don't, have a fantastic week. I shall talk to you soon. Thanks for coming in. I'm Zetmon. Peace.